from police patrol to being the one prosecuted. If he's convicted as charged, he's looking at a minimum of five years in prison and a maximum of 15 years in prison. It's a turn of the tables for Scottsdale police officer Michael Lenore, now faced with two felonies of aggravated assault and endangerment. In November of last year, Lenore was driving a city vehicle while off duty when he crashed with another car near Pima Road and Indian School. Both people in the other car were hospitalized and the officer was arrested on suspicion of DUI. Scottsdale police now confirming his toxicology report came back with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.198 percent, more than double the legal limit. So why isn't he being charged with impairment, too? When a person is um, suspected of being a DUI and they're involved in an automobile accident that causes uh, serious physical injury um, to another person, usually they're charged with um, aggravated assault. Um, oftentimes they're not charged with DUI. Criminal defense attorney Russ Richelsoff, who is not affiliated with the case, says specific wording in this indictment is important in what the officer's fate could be. Um, the prosecutor's office will allege that the uh, vehicle is a deadly weapon or dangerous instrument and that makes it mandatory prisons. Rachel Soft says in his experience with the county attorney's office, even if Lenore takes a plea deal, it likely will still involve prison time and not just probation. So where does his status stand with the Scottsdale Police Department? Demoted, but not fired. According to Scottsdale Police, Lenore resigned as a police officer in January, but took an involuntary demotion to work as a Scottsdale detention officer in the city's jail. Depending on the outcome of the trial, that's when Scottsdale Police says they'll evaluate Lenore's employment. Now, Scottsdale Police does allow officers to work after most misdemeanor arrests and convictions, but if convicted of a felony like Lenore is facing, the department says he wouldn't be able to carry a gun, which is needed to be an armed police officer or armed detention officer. I did reach out to the family involved in the crash, but did not hear back from them today. Officer Lenore is due back in court on March 29th. Guys, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Brianna. It's a welcome